I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll, euro, euro. Peso. peso, add it up You read that right, I got $34,300 in available credit, all with no hard pull, no credit inquiry, and a major boost to my credit score. And right now, I'm going to show you how I did it and how I can get more. A quick note before we get started, I actually have $52,300 in free credit, which is $34,300 in the store credit cards and $18,000 in real credit cards. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the easy to get store cards. Uh, but I want to touch on the uh, credit cards just because that is another option to help build your credit and there's a certain way that some cards can offer that to you for quick, easy credit. So thanks for tuning in and welcome to episode two. This episode is all about getting free credit. I have five credit cards right here that like I said I've got with no hard pull, which is a no credit inquiry. And two of these cards have a $3,550 credit limit. Another one has a $3,800 credit limit. Another has a $8,000 credit limit, and the last one has a $15,400 credit limit, all for a total of $34,300. So now let me explain why and how I got that. Now this strategy, it might not be for everybody, but these are no annual fee cards, so to me it's not a huge deal. But a few years ago, when I wanted to get some fast credit to reduce my utilization, utilization, in case you're not familiar with that, it's how much available credit that uh, I might have versus how much of that credit has become debt. I suggest you always stay below 3% if possible. The closer to 0%, the better. But for example, if all your credit card limits add up to say $100,000, me personally, I wouldn't go more than $3,000. That keeps you below 3%. So now back when I had debt, I probably owed about three or $4,000 but I only had about $10,000 worth of available credit. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time and that results in a 30 to 40% utilization. So I did a ton of research, how to dig myself out of that debt. And I also had a ton of collections and a whole mess of other issues. So I'm actually gonna make a in-depth video of all my financial mistakes and how I got out of that, how to get out of the collections and, and all sorts of things. So subscribe to stay tuned for that video. So long story short, I needed to get my credit score up. And one way to do that is to get more credit. That reduces the credit utilization. So I had a couple credit cards, like I said at the time, and I checked to see if I can get a credit limit increase from them. And I think maybe I did a 500 or $1,000 or so, but again, that can really only get you so far. So what I did was I checked uh, online, I found two companies, Synchrony Bank and Community Bank. Now I have a ton of store cards. Uh, so I, I, I looked at all the lists that they had of which cards that they have and I checked to see if there's any stores that I might like. So now there is a method to this. There is a reason why I picked these specific companies uh, over others because there's obviously a ton of stores out there and tons of cards. But some of them are offered by you know, Citibank or Bank of America or TD Bank. Um, and those aren't the cards we're looking at today. We're going to focus on Synchrony Bank and Community Bank. So let me explain what this process is. Basically, what we're doing is we're gonna trigger our pre-approval on the website store. Now, I just did this with overstock.com a couple months ago. I got an instant $8,000 credit limit with no inquiry, no hard pull. Now, I've done that with all these cards and I've never had a hard pull and I've never had an inquiry. I have read in some forums that some people have had an experience where they've gotten a hard pull. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, you know maybe it, ha it does have to do something with your score. But my score at the time was probably in the mid 600s or so. And uh, if I recall correctly, when, when I did this and all those cards hit my credit report, as far as a new account, my score jumped up about 72 points. Okay, so now the first step to do this is to make sure that you get pre-approval offers. Easy way to tell is, are you getting credit card pre-approval offers in the mail? If you are, you're most likely already in the system. But just in case, what you wanna do is you wanna go to optoutprescreen.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click 
opt in or opt out. Then make sure you click opt in and then fill in the information. Now, if you're not opted in, uh, you might need to wait a day or so before you can try this uh, credit card method. Um, but you know, it's worth a shot anyway, as soon as you fill this up. So next step, you wanna disable ad blockers. You wanna make sure that you allow pop-ups. Now you also wanna delete your browsing history, cookies, delete as much as you can. Next, we're gonna move on to picking a store card. So here's a list of these store cards. This is for Community Bank. There's also, like I said, Synchrony Bank. You can Google this. Some websites seem uh, more up to date than others, but uh, what you can do is just take a look, see if there's any stores that you like, and try this method. So let's try one. Let's go to sportsmanguide.com. So what I'm first gonna do is gonna go into my account, and I'm gonna set up a profile. You wanna make sure that you add your address, all the information that you can. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna add something to the cart. So let's have a look here and see, let's add a Yeti cooler to the cart. Now we're gonna go into the cart. We're gonna make sure that the billing and shipping information is in there. Since you set up that profile, all your information hopefully is already in there. And then we're gonna press continue to payment and wow, boom, that was fast. That was actually really fast. Sometimes this does take a, a minute or so to pop in. Um, I think on overstock.com, I put something in the cart and I waited about 30 seconds and it finally popped up as a pop-up. So now if that doesn't work, what you can do is you can close your browser and just try it again. If you had to opt in on that previous website, then you might, not want, you might want to wait another day or so and try it again, or try a different website. Some sites work, some sites don't. It seems to be kind of very uh, infrequent and change a lot. So now when you go in and you fill out the pre-approval, what it does is it, it asks for your last four of your social, just like when you set up a Credit Karma account. Now the Credit Karma, it does a, a soft pull. It kind of does a glimpse into your credit report, but it doesn't actually pull as a hard pull. And this is the same process. Now you can go ahead and click on it and fill out the form. Again, it should just ask you for the last four of your social. And it, and it says you're pre-approved, you should get a decision immediately. Now just like any card, a pre-approval or an approval is not guaranteed, but I, I would say if you got that offer, then your odds are pretty good. Again, do this at your own risk. If you 100% do not want a credit pull or hard inquiry, uh, again, I have never gotten one, but people on some of these forums have said that they've gotten one. Now, maybe those people have filled out a different application or they'd asked for their full social security number. I'm not sure, but again, in my experience, all of these cards that I've gotten from Comenity or Synchrony have never resulted in a credit pull and I've been instantly approved. Now earlier I said the list changes from time to time. Uh, when I first picked the store, it wasn't Sportsman Guide, I first picked Walmart, walmart.com. But what I like to do is go down to the bottom, click on the store card, and you can read in the fine print who the bank is. And that actually said Capital One. So I know that this list that I just looked at was wrong. Who knows how outdated these lists are? So you wanna do that, just double check on that store, go down, check the card, and just, it'll always say, you know, card is issued by Comenity Bank or Synchrony Bank. Also, Synchrony Bank and Comenity Bank, they don't have the best reputation for customer service. And there's a ton of bad reviews out there with people getting their cards closed after you know, a missed payment. But look, the point of this is to fix your credit, so you shouldn't be missing a payment. Uh, I've never had an issue with any of these cards. I've always just bought small stuff and paid it off fairly quickly. To me, that's just the point of this. You're just gonna get that available credit. It's worthless if you're using all that credit. So just buy something small and pay it off just to keep the card active and keep all that credit available. So ideally, you don't wanna deal with these type of credit card companies if they have bad reviews and bad customer service. 
you, you should reach for better cards such as American Express. However, some of these cards do have decent perks. For example, like a 0% for six months or some sort of benefit to having the card relevant to that particular store. Um, for example, BJ's card, this gives you 5% cash back. Now that's really good. Now all of these cards will usually come with some pretty high interest rates. So again, it's not worth carrying a balance on these cards. The, the only real benefit there is to having this card is to just lower your credit utilization. It gives you a bunch of available credit and, um, and help keep your credit utilization low. Me personally, I opened up four of these in one day. And when all that credit hit my report, it immediately knocked my utilization way down and it boosted my score way up. And I also requested credit limit increases on these cards whenever possible. Now I've only done that when it states that asking for an increase will not result in a credit pull. So now my research I found the most popular stores with this works is uh, Overstock.com and Victoria's Secret. Now if you have a specific card that you want, it's worth trying to see if you can get that card. You just might have to try it a few times for that particular store. So now the real benefit to having these community cards or Synchrony Bank cards is because they're generally easy to get, uh, easy credit approvals, and they can help people who are rebuilding their credit or just getting started in building credit, just like me. That was uh, me helping to rebuild my credit. Um, but it can also help to prevent having a bunch of hard pulls on your credit report that can lead to a 3 to 5% drop on each credit pull. So you can avoid that. Now I also mentioned a couple other cards that I have that I got without an inquiry. Uh, and I suggest you get into a credit union. One of those cards is a Visa card from a credit union. I suggest you get into a credit union. They usually have really great rates on loans, free accounts, um, things like that. But for example, DCU for me, I, I constantly get these offers for refinance and car loans and boat loans, you name it. So shortly after I became a member to DCU, I had one of these uh, pre-approvals for a $10,000 Visa credit card. And I got that and I had no inquiry on that card either. I've also had probably 12 car loans or so with them. And I think I've, maybe I've had an inquiry once or twice during that time with no, when there was no pre-approval available. But as you can see, I could go buy a car right now from DCU for $50,000. And if history repeats itself, I'll get that with no inquiry on my credit account. It just gets added to my credit report. So you can see why having a bank like DCU uh, or Credit Union is great for your credit. Now I also have American Express. As I mentioned in episode one, I have an American Express cash card. I started out with a $1,000 limit and now that has a $20,000 limit. Now once you're a customer, you can log in, you can check for pre-approval offers. I did that and I got a Amex Delta blue card. I, that was an $8,000 limit that I got with no inquiry. So these store cards, they don't compare to the value you can get from better cards, especially cards with annual fees. Cards from Chase or Amex that offer you know, cash back and travel rewards, membership points, but they do have a specific value for that particular store. And obviously they can help with financial freedom if used correctly. But you know, don't go get a Victoria's Secret card and go out and buy a thousand dollars worth of pink pants in one day. So just to recap, this is my experience with these cards. You never know what the card companies are going to do, but you can try this. I'm pretty confident if I'm accepted to that sportsman card, uh, I'm not going to get an inquiry. Again, check with the card companies you might have, log in, see if they have a pre-approval. It's a good idea to also call the number on the back of the card, ask if you're pre-approved for anything, ask if they're going to do a credit pull. You want to utilize, I wouldn't just go willy-nilly out and start applying for cards. See what cards are available, see what you can get for pre-approval first. That's the best step to seeing if you're going to get that card. So you can also check what's called the card match tool. Check this out, fill out that information, and look for pre-approvals. There's a lot of companies that have pre-approval checks on their websites also. You can check, for example, Discover, City, Amex, Capital One. But if you're not a customer, expect to get a hard inquiry, from, especially from those big brand companies. Um, 
but that's just a step to know if you're more likely to get the card or not, but that's also it's not a guarantee. So let me know what you think about this. If you're going to try it, good luck. If you have tried it and you've gotten some cards, please comment down below so others know what works, um, what's working currently, if you're going to try it right now. Hopefully we can help everybody out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up.